Did you pick us on purpose? Do it again, please. Hello Speak fans and welcome to this investigation at the Museum of East Dorset with our friends from Everglow Investigations. The museum was formerly known as the Priest's House and, you guessed it, housed priests from the local church. The modern museum is dedicated to local rural life and includes a Victorian kitchen and classroom. We had some interesting responses on some of our devices and some odd synchronicities that could be considered paranormal. And just before I stop talking and get on with the investigation, I want to say a massive thank you to anyone who subscribes and supports the channel. You make this journey a hell of a lot easier. Now, without any further ado, let's get on with the investigation. Can you set off one of the other devices in the room? Just so we're absolutely sure. Can you use another box in this room? Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. That's, really, that's really quite good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And now Thank the other you. one. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, can you do the one over that in the other corner as well? There's another air pressure sensor over in the other corner. It'd be really cool if you could set that one off as well. Close. That's, that's the temperature gauge, but you're very close. And that one. And that one as well. Yeah, both temperatures just went off. <laughs> Which is your favourite box then? Do you want to use one in particular or do you want to use them all? That might be a bit of a complicated question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you've stopped with that device, can you light one of the other devices up in this room if you are male, if you're a man? Okay, can you light up one of the other devices in the room if you are female, if you're a woman? Thank you, you're a lady. Thank you. Oh, all of them. Wow. Okay, very much so. Very, Thank very you very much. much. So, uh, you're obviously not aware that it's 2023. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you able to set off one of the other devices for us? We know you can do the temperature, and we've seen that you've been able to do uh, change the air pressure in some way. Are you able to do that again for us? You can take your pick of any of the air pressure sensors. The the one next to that, please. Can you see the green box next to it? The green box there. I'm not sure if you can see the green light. If you if you blow into it or move the air around it, it should change to orange for us. Are you able to do that, please? That was a natural sound, I was saying. I had a slight thump. Yeah, like a thump. Yeah, we heard that over in as well. But that wasn't you guys moving or anything? No. No, 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 not at all. Okay. If you made that noise... That's other people. Yeah, that's other people. If you made the knocking noise, could you do it again for me? But really loud? Thank you, that's the, that's the air pressure. Yeah, that's thank the one you. that I wanted you to set that's, off. Yeah, thank you. thank you. So when we say air pressure, that's the box we mean. Thank you. And when we say temperature, it's the other boxes that you've been playing with. Like that one, yeah. thank you. That's exactly it. Are you able to make... <laughs> Are you able to make a sound in the room that's not by one of the boxes? Can you copy me? Is that, does that mean no? Give it time. If you need to use my energy, you can use my energy. That was you. That was my foot, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to ask you some yes and no questions. 
But we really need to know which box you want to use for yes. Can you light up the box you'd like to use for yes, please? Can you light, light up one of the boxes you'd like to use for yes when answering our questions, please? <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, no, no, well, we, we don't... That was really good, but we just want you to light one just of them up, what? please. Can you just light up? Thank you. Thank you. Can you now light up a box, a different box for us, that you'd like to use when replying no to the questions we're going to ask? Thank you. Yeah, two different corners. That's insane. Just to confirm, is it a man we're speaking to? That was yes, though, wasn't it? Hang on, that is the yes. Where's the stop, so... Um... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, is there okay. more than one person in here? Yeah. That's my first thought. Yeah. Is there more than one spirit in this room with us? Remember which box is the box for yes. Are there more than one? Yeah, no. no. That wasn't no. No, it wasn't no, was it? No, the, the temperature was no. That, that's just sort of going Unless that corner in general is no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if we're taking that as yes, that's a yes. So you're, you're alone then? Just yourself. Okay. Yes. What we're, what we're going to do, one of the devices in this corner, set off for yes. One of the devices in the opposite corner, set off for no. Middle one could be maybe. And one of the devices here, in the middle sort of area, that can be a maybe or don't know. Do you do understand? Set off one of the devices for yes, if you understand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> there is a maybe pile if you'd like to set off something in a maybe, if you don't know, if there's a yes and a no. These boxes over here, you can use for maybe or don't know. Mm -hmm. See, they're not really talking or anything. That's true. Oh. Where's the noise? Is there a car park? The front of the building goes directly out onto the street, I think. Unless it's other car doors, maybe. Unless a car moving. It could be a car. Oh, I'd say it's a car. Okay. I think we kind of have to rule out anything unless it's categorically in this room. Yeah, noises are a bit of a kind of more hit by sound. Unless you have to Interestingly, since Mark's what the temperature sensors. Are you still here with us? Yeah, neither of them have gone off. No. Oh. No, it's no, no, just the ones that have been there the whole time. That's interesting though, it, was, it didn't go off at all, and then we asked, are you here, and then mm. it did go off. So are we talking to a man? Okay. Can you set one of the devices off if it's a man we're talking to, if it's a male? Can you set one of the devices off if it's a woman we're talking to, if you're a female or a lady? I'm quite shy now. Can you set one of the devices off? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, maybe show it off. Did you used to live here?
Yes, it's getting hot in here. Did you work here as well? Or was this your house? I don't know whether to take Yeah, you asked two questions. That's true. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Was this your house? I'm sure it was a lovely house. Beautiful garden outside. Now that we know you can do that one, can you? Thank you. <laughs> okay, we can, we can see that you can see those, do those two. Are you able to do the one now in this corner here? And then I'll stop trying to make you to do things and we'll see what we can do about helping you. So just any of the devices in this, the opposite corner that you've been setting them off from. now but it went off for around about the same time as the yellow box as the yellow box going yeah. dun, dun. and king could be a few things it could be a surname also there's a um Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. okay so it might be someone's surname then is it your surname your last name king In the glass cabinet in front of me, there is also a um, some sort of coronation thing for King Edward. Oh, okay. Where are we looking? So there's a couple of king-related things that could be right there, the, with the flames on in the middle cabinet. Women. Compliments of Foster Brothers cloning 
Clothing Company Limited, Coronation King Edward the Eighth. And it's got a big picture of the king in the middle. Yeah. Remove it, says remove. We can't take anything out of these yeah, we... cabinets. Are you not a big yeah, fan we... of King Edward? Let me see. Mm -mm. Why don't you like him? Can you put it in this box I'm holding why you don't like him? That was me. That was you, yeah. Can mm -hmm. you tell us that the device that Patsy has got near her has a dictionary in there you can select any word that you like. Can you tell us why you don't like Edward? You won't get in trouble for it anymore. No, you won't get in trouble at all. If we're honest, we don't really like King Edward anyway, so you can tell us. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know that. Bloody ghost hit that, don't you? Melody. That doesn't make any sense to me. I would have been really impressed then if it had come out with the word prick or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A shithead. <laughs> yeah. Communist. <laughs> Or I something like that. Was that you, here? Yeah. I am going to move that device though, if you don't stop. Start using one of the other ones. Mm, you've been warned, we'll you've have to use warned. a different box. I have to turn it off, so you have to use a different one. There's lots of other devices around the room. You need to, if you're... Like Mike said, if you are intelligent, we need you to set off a different box, please. Okay, you can set off whichever device you like. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we just want to check again. Are we speaking to George? Brown. Brown. I'm not really sure what that means, brown. As in brown. The yeah. colour, yeah. I'm not really sure what we... You look for Sterling, are you? Yeah. You look for King as well while you're there. Okay. Sorry guys, that light's in your eyes, right? Mm, no, there's a few more brown. Where Mark is. Oh, brown. Oh, brown. Muriel Brown. Muriel brown. Shepherd. Anything to the wall, anything like that? She took over a florist. It's like a weird, like a weird escape room, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so Brown's Grocers was at 35 E Street. The mural shop was next door at number 36. Do you remember Muriel? Oh wow, there she is. Pack. Pack. Shepherd we have three. Pack we have three. Shepherd and pack. But then They might not be relevant, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Brown's interesting, but then Brown's a very common last name, so... That is true. If, if this did used to be a priest's house, the priest would have referred to his flock, potentially, that's, wouldn't he? Yeah. That's true, Shep, but there's a very religious name. Mark, oh, the Bible. Yeah, Bible. I said mouth. He said month. As I said, five. Choose. I will. I will choose. I'll choose a passage for us. So unless we want to go, I mean, this is again a stretch, but month five, if we're talking May. May, yeah. yeah. If it's relevant, but Patsy's birthday's in May. Where do we know where we get May from? As I said, five. Oh, it's said month. Down, I, said month. I, say, I see, I see. I say. I say, I say. Do you oh, have any course. preference or oh, should I sorry. choose anything? Can you give me a little sign? Corinthians. 
Cute. Aww, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you don't mind what we read then? We'll just a big psalm, I guess. Psalm 23. 23. Ah. What was that? Ah. We're going to do 23. Okay, get ready. So you got your opportunity. Oh my god! Did you pick us on purpose? 23 is my favourite number. Okay. But I didn't pick, specifically pick Psalm 23. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you! The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. How many times does the Lord do get referred to as a shepherd in that book though? For a psalm, it's not that common actually. The psalms are all over the place. We eat Neil ideally, don't we? Because he's That's Neil. crazy. I'm well impressed with that. Duty. I'll finish it. I might let's finish it. Did you say something about duty? Duty. The Lord I is will my shepherd. find out. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I am so impressed with that. That we had Shepherd came up, and then Mark was like 23. And it's the first line of It's the first line Psalm of that psalm, well. it's the Lord is my shepherd. Did you did you like that psalm? Is that one of your favourite psalms? It's so Psalm twenty three, from my knowledge, is a, a psalm which is quite often read at funerals. Yeah, because the whole shadow of death, family of the shadow of death. Mm. Which That's subconsciously so could be why I picked Psalm twenty three, because I served on the altar. Oh, it's Really? What well, arms and arms. Amanda? Isn't arms? Arms as in A R M S. Uh, sorry, yeah. arms. I don't think we've got an Amanda on any of the walls. Either that could have been me walk, moving. Arms spelled the other way. What you give a church, aren't they? Arms yeah. A L. Exactly. That's like right. Body part. If you can give us a number through this box, that would be really impressive. Maybe you can tell us how old you are? I don't think there is an Amanda. Or what year it is? Give. We were just talking about arms. We were just talking about arms, yeah. You seem like quite a religious person. Yeah. Did you work for the church? I used to work in the church. I was an altar boy. New moon. What? New moon. Okay. New moon. Yeah. New moon. Which is ironically the the tester word for ghost files all the time, right? Is it? They're explaining the obvious. They always come up with new moon. Does it? Yeah, when they're showing how it works. I'm getting another word already. Coin. Coin. Again, arms. Coin, yeah. Coin. You're quite charitable then. It was arms though, right? A R M S. I know we were talking we, about. We talked arms. about arms though, didn't we? Gently. Gently. All right, chat box. Quite like this one. It's interesting now that it's using this box more. Yeah. It stopped using the other. Oh, no, it still uses that orange one. Don't, do me a favour. I don't know if there is. Go on, go to Corinthians and see if there's like a passage twenty three or something. Corinthians, I've got fine Corinthians, you haven't very good Good before. luck. Corinthians is an Old Testament. Is it? Book, I think, yeah. I know almost nothing about the Bible, to be fair, so. I think so. Corinthians. No, Corinthians is a, a New Testament. A New Testament book. Let's see if I can find it. Rev, Judd, Wondrum, Judd, Jared, Pet. Do you need a light? Got it. Corinthians, and what did you say, 23? Sorry, I said Corinthians off the top of my head. 
Sultry. Sultry? And There's not, no. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. It carries on. There is. So there's not a 23 because it starts again, I guess. Is it a verse 23? It only goes up to 13. Oh. That's what I was thinking, because when we were saying that white glass, it was like blurred out quite deep, so I didn't know if maybe there was a 23 and it relates to Potentially. something else. Would you like us to read anything else out from the Bible? Oil skin, oil skin things are a bit of a chill. chill. It yeah. didn't just go blue and cold over there, which is really strange because it's 25.6 degrees in here. They're feeling quite warm tonight. Are yeah. you not feeling so warm? Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Are you able to set off the other temperature sensor just next to that one? Are you able to make that one go colder as well? Just to prove that you are with us and willing to communicate. Presents in there. Yeah, it is a cupboard, so I wouldn't have thought there'd be a draft coming from there. You used to communicate with us. Wait. If you're not ready. Wait, wait for what? Becky said wait earlier when she was doing the essence method. Yeah, it's a common word, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, if you come over and you come near this one. Or you can... Yeah? Yeah, do a, bit, do a bit of that, not a problem. Telepathy. Telepathy. And a will. This kitchen is over 250 years old. That's a long one. Huh. Guess another surname of the people that own this place. Edwards. King. Really? Yeah. Elizabeth King was no different when she had this kitchen extension built. Panel. Panel. Mrs. King. Her initials were E.K. Apparently the, the, the Well, I don't think her name was Edward King, so... No, we never had the word Edward, we had the word King. Yeah, but the way you were like, her initials were E.K. Yeah, Elizabeth King. Right. 1766. Now that is interesting that we've had the surname of those people, those people that own this place in. Mm. And I've not seen that name anywhere else, this is the first no, time I've come across it. That, that name wasn't no, one of the other that things in the room where we were. Weird, right? That's so weird. And it was a woman we thought we were speaking to as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's a spirit called Elizabeth with us. Are you able to set one of the devices off to make your presence known to us, please? Or anyone related to Elizabeth? Angry. Why are you angry? What's made you angry? That was a very long one. That was. Were you the lady that was speaking to us upstairs?
Can you set off one of the devices if we've already spoken to you tonight? We did get the word king when we were in another room. Is that who we're speaking to? Thank you for watching. On screen now is another of our investigations I'm sure you'll love.